Hey, we're the mass holes. We're on the West Coast. We're the West Coast. Mass holes. We're the mass holes on the West Coast. We were from mass. We were holes when we're there, but we came out here and now we're West Coast mass holes. Got it. <laughs> hey, 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 everybody. Uh, welcome to West Coast Mass Holes. Uh, I'm Todd Anderson. Uh, that's Josh Wingate over there. We got 15 minutes to give you the world. Josh, give him the world. You're all fucked. <laughs> you sound like uh, uh, Bjork in the Northman. Bjork is in the Northman? She sure is. Oh, nice. You Does she wear a swan? You can't make a movie set in Iceland and not cast Bjork. I didn't know she was an actor. Or she made a movie called Dancer in the Dark in the year two thousand. You didn't see that, starring Bjork. No. Dancer in the Dark. Bjork. No. Or dan darking, dancing darkly with Bjork. It was something like that. Oh. But you know, oh. she's worked with great uh, directors on her videos. That's so, cool. You know, maybe she picked up some uh, acting skills. She's pretty good in The Northman. How was Skarsgård? His abs uh, were wonderful and oft covered in blood. Uh, nice. He, uh, I, I would say everybody in The Northman is having a fantastic time chewing up scenery. Everybody, Ethan Hawke, Nicole Kidman, you know, Skarsgård through the whole thing, obviously. But th there's nobody who doesn't chew scenery. The, 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 the actress from the chess show. Uh, What's her name? I always forget her name. Did you I watch see that show? No, but I, I heard it was pretty good. Yeah, I like the chess uh, show. Uh, you know, the Northman was good. It was Hamlet. It was Hamlet. If you like the story of Hamlet and you like bloody abs, the Northman's for you. Sons of Anarchy. What? Sons of Anarchy was based off Hamlet as well. Oh, the show? Yes, the show. So. Everything's based on Hamlet. Uh, it's kind of funny when people are like, I love the way the Northman looks. It's a great looking film, but the story is garbage. And I'm like, well, the story is Hamlet. So I don't, I'm not a big Shakespeare fan myself, so I get it. But, uh, you know, the best Hamlet adaptation that I've ever seen is called uh, Strange Brew, starring Bob and Doug McKenzie. That, like, you don't need to adapt Hamlet. Oh, there, eh? Hosiery. <laughs> that was a great film. I loved it. It had a flying dog. Yeah. There's a power of the dog. Strange Brew. It best Northman as a Hamlet adaptation, and it best the power of the dog as an, a movie with an actual dog with powers. What about uh what was that movie? Um my Shaggy Dog or whatever. What was in that? Didn't he have powers or two? What was that? Disney film? Shaggy DA, the Shaggy DA. The dog. The dog who could like talk and shit. Yeah, yeah. But he was not, yeah. I mean, I guess technically that's a power. Was, but what isn't the deal with the Shaggy DA is the is the DA winds up in the body of the dog like he's reincarnated as a dog or is soul gets put into the dog isn't that how it works yes and that dog now has power power of the dog power of attorney <laughs> uh, uh, so you so tell me benji benji didn't have power benji was powerful though what about lassie lassie was the one powerful dog she was a powerful dog but she didn't have powers superpowers Hey, speaking of our connection here, one one degree um, away from D. Wallace is uh, Cujo. Cujo had some serious power. Cu I mean, Cu Cujo had rabies. <laughs> yeah, well, it gave it some serious power, didn't it? You wouldn't fuck with that dog. So, so <laughs> does that mean when I, I got COVID in January for 10 days, I had superpowers? I don't know. Did it make you crazy? Yes. Well, you already were that way. Yeah, no. Yeah. It definitely it definitely made me crazier, I guess. Yeah. 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 I I, I went to see the Northman last night uh, with my wife because we took our, our kid. He, he went on a date. So 
he took he went to you went on a date with your son no listen slow down josh (laughs) that poor child we had to drive our son to Cody, drop you him can off call me, man. For you can date. call me anytime, buddy. Anytime you want to call me, I'll help you out. Some serious fucked up shit going on in that household. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> That's not, you're not listening. Okay. We had to drive him there and then we had to pick him up. So, and it was a movie. They were, him and his date went to see the Nick Cage, uh, The Unbearable Weight of Massive oh, Talent. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but we were like, well, we could drop them off and go home and sit at home. But we were like, but we want to see the Northmen, so we'll just go to the Northmen, you know. And and he went to the other movie, and then went out to sushi. We didn't we didn't do any of that with him. He didn't see us all night. We were just there to drop him off and pick him up, and we happened to see a Viking movie uh, in the interim. That's all. He said the Nick that? Cage movie was. This was his review of the Nick Cage movie. That was all right. <laughs> I still want to see it a lot, but he was not he's not big on it. What um what about uh Ethan, Mr. Hawk? Because I like Mr. Hawk. He's a good actor. Was he he was he was chewing scenery too? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean it's a Viking movie, so it lends itself to chewing scenery because you know there's a lot of like guttural yelling that happens. Uh and and you know Ethan Hawke and Willem Dafoe, and uh, the the son who will grow up to be Alexander Skarsgård at the beginning of the movie. There's like a father son, king prince mm. ritual thing where they get ready for battle or whatever. And uh, Willem Dafoe is sort of the I don't know he's the the guru and he starts barking like a dog and then they have to bark like dogs. So all three of them were down going. Rah, rah, rah at each other uh yeah it was everybody was having a great time and who is nicole kidman in said film uh nicole kidman. apparently her and skarsgård like to be together now and do, do they beat each other in this one as well um yeah um she's his uh mom whoa that's some oedipal shit right there oh yeah there's did, some oedipal stuff yeah there's some yeah, oedipal did, stuff did you see um uh what was that great show um um hbo series with her and him when they were a couple it's a great show big little lies yes yes Didn't watch it. that's really good man that is, is really good yeah yeah that's what i, heard. I, I think just... that yeah um yeah, now that you've seen the Viking movie, you should go. You should go see that and see how twisted it is. Now that she plays his mom, <laughs> I see. I see what you're saying. Well, I mean, they do make out. Yeah, they've got an interesting relationship. <laughs> now, um, do you want to see my Nicole Kidman impersonation? Yeah, go. Uh-huh. All right. This is me, Nicole Kidman, mad. Now do this her. Is me as, this is me as Nicole Kidman happy. <laughs> you're gonna get you're gonna get angry uh, emails. People get so mad if you suggest that Nicole Kidman's not the greatest actress of all time. Her face literally doesn't move anymore. No. I will give her credit. Big Little Lies. She's fantastic. She's fantastic. She's um, good in th- she's good in this. I mean, she uh, you know, like I say, everything's kind of over the top. Uh, and she has a, a like a fun monologue in this movie and, and she rips it up. She has a good time. I'm just saying it's not none of the performances in this movie. There's no subtlety. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Did you ever see the series Vikings? Any of the series Vikings? No, but I saw the movie Valhalla with Mads Mikkelsen. <laughs> How was that? Slow. Yeah. But, you know. Mads, I mean, speaking of a guy who hasn't gotten a lot of plastic surgery, who doesn't change his expression very much, uh, I don't know what it is about that guy. You know, Valhalla is a great example of him just being as stoic as possible. Uh, but damn, he's just so interesting to look at when he's 
just doing nothing. I don't know. I don't know. You like that Mads? I, I, I can't place anything that I've seen of his that I'm like, oh, yeah, that was good. I can't really place anything. Hmm. Um, no. You didn't but see, even, uh, though, even though I just made fun of Nicole Kidman, I could probably name several performances of hers that I thought she was fantastic. She's actually pretty good as Lucy Ball, which I found was an interesting casting. So you didn't watch Hannibal, the show? No. No, that's too bad. That was really good. Yeah, Mads is interesting cat, man. He's a, there's a movie I think he just did recently, like a year or two ago about this um, alcoholic. He played like this alcoholic or something. I forget what it was called, but. I actually don't think it's about alcoholism. It's about getting really drunk. It's like a, yeah, I know what movie you're talking about, but it's not like a alcoholic story. It's just a let's get drunk story, I think, because it, it it's some sort of, tradition from where he's from i guess I, I don't know i can't remember but i know it's not like a sad alcoholic movie <laughs> yeah i heard it was good i heard he was really good in it too I yeah i haven't seen it time. i saw the there was another one he did that was kind of a comedy where he's like a hired you know revenge guy um but it's a it's sort of a comedy i like that but i can't remember what it's called riders of the something something riders. riders of the storm maybe that's what it was i don't know something like that i like that mm. and wasn't he in that uh why are scene? they biting us they can't see us asshole we're in the underworld what's that what's that <laughs> wasn't <it>? the doors <laughs> they're all tripping their balls off in the desert and the snakes in the movie yeah, yeah. why are they biting us they can't see us, asshole. We're in the <laughs> underworld. <laughs> I prefer the peyote sequence in Young Guns, personally. Mm. Do you remember that movie? Oh, yeah. It was a great movie. Do you remember when they all did peyote on the cliffs mm -hmm. and they barfed? Mm. Yeah. And then Lou Diamond Phillips and Emilio Estevez, they, they howl at the moon or whatever? Mm. That's what stuff. I would do. Yeah, that's what I would do. If you were on peyote? Oh, what I would do on peyote. <laughs> Apparently, if you're Matt McConaughey on peyote, you like climb into a cage with a mountain lion and like hang out with it for two hours and end up petting it. What? Oh yeah, he tells this great story of uh, he was on a ritual, and he was definitely not of the sober mind. But like this, it was in Mexico, or and uh, he was on or somewhere in Central or South America. I'm not really sure what country it was I, I don't recall but he was on this uh with a guide and they came along and the guide had this mountain lion in this cage so McConaughey decided he needed to be in the cage with the mountain lion so he ended up getting in there and sat there for two yards two hours and by the end of the two hours the mountain lion was like in his lap and he was petting it you know I don't believe it are you sure he wasn't just high and hallucinating this I mean that's what happens on peyote I don't Is think it? it really happened. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> uh, well, what, okay, for one, all right. For one, it paints a bad picture of drug use. You know, it's that it, it's you're tripping so you get in a cage with a mountain lion. That's stupid. Nobody does that. That's fucking idiotic. Uh, it, it just, it's like, that's <laughs> not, it's not the peyote. I mean, it's Matthew McConaughey's an idiot. I mean, I don't <laughs> care what kind of fucking drug you're on you don't get in a cage with a, a predatory giant cat Thank it's like you. that it's like do you remember the old do you, you you remember bill hicks right the the comedian yeah, yeah he yeah. had that whole thing about lsd and there's always the same story you know it's like mm. some somebody on lsd jumped off a building thinking they could fly and his argument was, well that wasn't that wasn't lsd that was um angel does well wh whatever it was wh his example was lsd i think lsd it, it was you know that was a story that happened with drugs a lot especially in the 80s but anyway his point was look if he thought he could fly why didn't he take off from the ground first because you don't see ducks lining up to ca to catch an elevator to fly south for the winter <laughs> listen you're trying to put logic into where no logic exists okay do you remember the I remember in high school. I'm not saying up. it's not. 
Uh, what I'm hey, saying I'm is, not, you, I'm talking about like, Hicks, okay. not you. Okay, I'm wait a second. Hicks, wait a second. It's no, like when wait a sec. <laughs> it's like when Mel Gibson got in trouble for being a drunk and a semite, you yeah. know, and racist, and everybody was like, "Well, he was drunk." So what if he was yeah. drunk? He was a racist. So if you jump off a building on LSD, it has nothing to do with LSD. It has to do with the fact that you're an idiot. Sure. That's all. Sure. I'm yeah. Hey, That's shut all. up, just George, because I have something to say. Um, George has something to say. Shut up. Do you, have, do you remember in high school, they showed us those drug videos that were clearly shot in the late 70s, early 80s? Oh, nice. And like the, the PCP one and the Angel Dust one. And it was like the, the kid who jumped out of the window, like through the pane of glass. Like, Wasn't yeah. that he Helen Hunt? Was it Helen Hunt? Okay, this is what I learned last week due to confusion with this movie show that I do. But, but the guests wanted this movie with Helen Hunt about angel dust which was called both desperate lives and angel dust i confused it with another tv movie called angel dusted which also has helen hunt really but in angel dust helen hunt is the one doing angel dust and jumps out of a window in angel okay. dusted she's the sister of a of an older brother who's doing uh, angel dust and loses his mind and that one has uh, 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 um, shit. I'm blanking on her name uh, 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 from All in the Family. You know, um, you know. There's the, a lot the, of people in All in the, the Family. The wife, the mom, Jane. What's that her lady. name? She's yeah. Too <laughs> You're no Speaking help. of flying, remember the movie The Boy Who Could Fly? Yeah. Th that that should be on. You should do that on your show. That's a great movie. <laughs> Well, tell you movie. what, Josh, you're going to guest on the show, and great. that's going to be your movie. You're going to pick it. Awesome. All right. It's I done. I might cry. <laughs> that's okay. Deal's done. Crying's okay. Deal's yeah. done. Uh, Josh is going to be on my favorite shitty movie. Yeah. Look for that in the coming months, uh, and that's the end. Do you have anything else you want to say? Oh no, are you? Eat your own feces, Nazis. <laughs> That's right. Fuck you, Nazis. And we'll see you next time on West Coast Mass Holes. This has been a Blursh production. Blursh.